Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Michel Bouteau, I work for RSA. And today we're going to take a look at a quick integration I put together in, in ServiceNow uh, based on some new web service calls that have been made available in RSA Governance and Lifecycle version 7.0.2. So 7.0.2 was released in March and it does include uh, some some interesting web service calls, some new web service calls. So we'll take a look at the console here. I'm connected as the administrator and uh, the specific web service call I'm interested in is uh, for reviews. So uh, if we scroll down to the review section, we can see a few new calls. And one of them is actually related to performing a review. So update review item. If I take a look at the documentation here for this call, I can see uh, an example here. So it's possible to uh, update as a reviewer some review items, uh, whether they are uh, of the type uh, entitlement, application role, uh, group, uh, or uh, global role. And there are also a few other options to provide commands. And for each of the uh, review item, I can decide to revoke, maintain, or reset the status back to none. I can also support custom. So let's go back uh, as Able Tutor now in, uh, in ServiceNow Service Portal. I'm using the Istanbul version of, uh, of ServiceNow. And I created my integration as a request uh, item, which is a catalog item. So because it's a catalog item, I can either put a button on the portal, uh, or I can also just search for it. And I'm going to search for my review item here. Now I'm, the, I'm in the application. So uh, the first step here uh, is to select whether I want to review an item that's assigned to myself or somebody else. If I've been delegated access to uh, other reviewers' access reviews or, or, or the associated task, I could select that. But let's select myself for now. And then I can uh, look at a list of review items that have been assigned to me. So if I expand the list, I can see some items that are assigned to Kim Jones and others are assigned to Steffi Peters. So I can see the state, I can see what it is. So let's select this SCP application role first. The state is none, and I can see some comments here. I am the reviewer, so I'm not using any uh, delegation. And I can see comments that were added to this item either by the last reviewer or maybe at the access request time. So we'll uh, you know, select a different one here. Um, an entitlement, and I can see our warning because with this specific line item uh, assigned to Steffi, uh, this is a high risk, and, and it's because it's triggering an SOD uh, violation rule. Uh, but anyway, we'll decide to maintain this item, uh, as you can see, because the state does not have the choice to maintain or revoke. So we'll select maintain. We'll add this to the shopping cart, so we have full support for the shopping cart again, because we're using a, a catalog item. So I click on the button here to go back to uh, uh, the start and select another uh, review item. So again, I'm going to select myself as a reviewer. And I will uh, select a different uh, line item here, maybe this uh, Boston user group for Google Apps. I can see some comments uh, here that have been uh, added by uh, Abel, I'm going to add this one to the cart as well. So now I have two items uh, in the cart. So let, let's keep going. Let's add a third one. Now I'm going to select myself again. And then I will also uh, select uh, maybe you know, one of those SCP application roles. And I'm going to go for maintain again. I'm going to add this third item to the cart. And now I will submit uh, the content of my cart, so the three line items uh, I reviewed so far. So we'll just uh, go into uh, the cart itself. And before I do that, though, I want to show you uh, I'm logged in as Jeff Barron in RSA itself. And uh, Jeff is a monitor, so he's been delegated admin rights to the review, to the campaign, so he can monitor the progress of, of the campaign. And it's at 6% now. If I expand the list of all reviewers uh, for the campaign, I can 
look into Abel Tutor. I can see that he's 14% done. He has only uh, t taken care of uh, one uh, review item in, in the list. And now we'll actually uh, go back to uh, to the uh, ServiceNow application and we will uh, actually submit the content of our card now. So I wanted to show you the before picture first. Now let's check out, which means let's submit those three uh, line items or, or those three changes back to RSA. So what's happening behind the scene is that I am calling this web service call uh, to uh, basically change the status of those three line items. And I'm actually uh, making three calls, one for each item behind the scene. So that's why I see uh, you know, my, my three items in the shopping cart. Now it's done, uh, which means if I click the little uh, refresh button here, I should be able to see that the campaign is now 26%. And if I just cancel out of uh, the uh, monitor view and go back into the review, again, I will expand Able Tutor. Now I'll be able to see that some progress has been made. I can see two additional line items have been uh, taken care of for uh, for Kim Jones and for Steffi Peter. I see this item here that we decided to approve anyway, the one with the SOD violation. And again, you know, this is dynamic. So now if my user were going to go back to ServiceNow and uh, retrieve the list of review items, um, I would be able to see uh, the progress that has been made. And also I left a few items, previous items I created uh, open, so you can see uh, that we can actually track those items. Uh, as long as they, they are open, they will show up in, in the request uh, page here, so I can see some custom status that I've added to the application to allow the user to be able to know exactly where a change request is sitting when they submit a request to, to RSA. And uh, eventually it will be in the completed state. If there's an error, I'll be able to see some error message here, an error condition. Um, and if there was an approval, I would also see those approvals on the RSA side here. Uh, for ser for ServiceNow approvals, I will see them also uh, if I decide to take care of my approvals on, on the ServiceNow side instead. Let's take a quick look at the application itself. So I'm in uh, Studio here for my Istanbul release, and it starts with uh, a catalog item. And a catalog item is also a form in, in ServiceNow. So I decided to make this catalog item available for both desktop and mobile. And if I scroll down, I can see the description here the button that uh, I'm publishing to allow the user to reset the form. And then I'm going to be able to see all the different fields. Many of them are hidden fields. So I'm using hidden fields so I can pass information to the cart and eventually to the workflow that's going to execute the uh, uh, the call or the calls to uh, RSA. And then I have a few client-side uh, scripts so this first one is the onload one. It's taking care of a few things. For example, it's hiding um, the uh, hidden fields in the form. Uh, it's also resolving some information about the requester. Uh, and then I have a few other client-side scripts. This one is monitoring the state. So whenever I select a specific review item, it's going to look at the state, and if it's none, then it's going to make available the option of maintain and revoke. Uh, if it's already maintained, then it doesn't make sense to allow the user to select maintain again, but I'm going to show none or revoke. Uh, so this is where I control you know, the actions that are available. Uh, I have uh, another one here that allows me to uh, react whenever I select a reviewer, whether it's myself or somebody else, if delegation is in place. And this is the actual uh, call here back to the server-side uh, scripts. So it's calling the server-side scripts to get all the information about the review and review items. Uh, and then it processes a response it's getting from the server-side script. And 
if we take a look uh, quickly at the server-side scripts, I'm using three of them. Uh, so some are for requesting information about the reviewer or the user being reviewed, the user associated with the uh, review line item. Uh, or I can also uh, uh, use uh, the call to the uh, probe, which is basically retrieving information from uh, from the review campaign using a JDBC call, a database call, calling the views for the public database schema. Now, if we take a look at the workflow, this is where I'm actually calling uh, the uh, web service calls to perform the uh, uh, review uh, item, the change of the uh, state for each of the review item. So first, I have a web service call that's going to authenticate and grab a session token. And once I'm authenticated, then I go to this uh, other node that's calling the web service call to update the line item. And then I'm checking if you know I'm getting a success or a failure for that call. And then I'll branch accordingly. And I will also update the stage of the review. That's what is being displayed to the user when they look uh, when they track their requests in, in, in ServiceNow. Eventually. You know, once everything is done, I will complete the request uh, and will also take care of updating you know, state, uh, update some, some of the comments here uh, also as part of the uh, request. Um, and uh, I'll take care also, if I want to, of, of errors here, uh, error condition. Right now, I'm just basically turning the request as uh, failed and closing complete, but I could decide to uh, go through another attempt for submitting the change. And uh, this is what my user is seeing here. So that concludes our quick uh, overview of this uh, integration I've put together uh, in ServiceNow for this new web service call that has been made available with RSA Governance and Lifecycle version 7.0.2. Of course, it's not as uh, complete, as comprehensive as the access review uh, that uh, you'll see in RSA directly, that it could be something interesting to make available to end users, to reviewers, so they can quickly take care of uh, some of their uh, review tasks or review items uh, without having to leave the ServiceNow portal. So thank you for watching, and until next time, have a good day.